Hello everyone. In previous videos, uh, we have learned how to perform post operation to create a user, to perform get operation to get all of the documents for the users, and this particular uh, get operation to get a particular document from the user's collection. Now we are going to be learning how to uh, update a particular user. So as you can see with this de decorator, we will be sending a patch request with a particular ID just like we sent a get request with a particular ID so just like how we made changes uh, here for the ID uh, let's remove plus as I explained earlier plus is used to convert a string to a number right but we don't need that uh, in our implementation so let's uh, go to this updates function and also change it to string so that we don't uh, get any typing error okay so that aside now what we have to do is uh, we can go here right and start working on this particular function so let's see what what's happening here is uh, we have this update method here right now there are two things one decorator is for param and one decorator is for body okay so this parameter is will be used particularly to extract the id from the param of the uh, http header request for example from here so let's try and see this i will add it here uh, hit send and then this particular patch request right so this is going to be you know captured in this particular id variable and in this body uh, this particular body decorator will get all of the data from this body so what you have to do is click on body go to the raw and click on json okay now here we have to type the json so that that those particular changes can be made in the document of this id right so if i hit send here okay so this is the body that is being returned right now let's say if i want to make a change in email or password then how do i do that right that is what we are going to do here okay so moving forward whatever we send let's say if i copy it here and then paste it here let's remove it let's say i want to change the email address right uh, so whatever I send here in this particular object will be captured in this variable. Okay. And this variable is of type update user DTO. So let me try and um, log this out as well. Something like this. Let it refresh. So let's try and see. Uh, if we log this stuff out so let it refresh i'll pause the video for a second okay now let's try and hit this request okay we are getting okay so we send the wrong json so hit send now see we got uh, this static uh, string but in the console log you can see that the controller was hit first and then service was hit right and in here you can see that the object that we sent over here was exactly logged out here so this thing is completely clear right now uh, i want to explain one more thing more clearly so this update user dto we uh, got it more like a boilerplate earlier right so if i go here and in this particular file which is like you what you can do is press ctrl and then click over here right you will be redirected to this file which is in source user and dto right here you can see that we are we are exporting a class right export class update user dto but what exactly is happening here it is extending create user dto as a partial type so what does that mean uh, it means uh, that uh, all of these parameters like email password first name and last name are now partial for this class right so create user dto you can so when we learn about uh, you know create user dto it was up to us whether we choose to make something optional or not right for example these two things are not optional when whenever we are creating a user right but these two things are optional um, by this particular property right but in update user dto all of these are optional right just because we have used partial type so this is uh, you know a bit of a deep information but i think everyone should have it because we are working on updating a particular 
uh, you know document right so moving forward uh, let's close these files. So what we have to do is, you know, we have to start working on how do we actually update this stuff. So moving forward, uh, let's just make it a sync and a wait function, like something like this. Let's see. Up. So we have like find by ID and update, and there should be something like find one and update, right? Let's try and you know explore both of them. So I will first, you know, just like previously, I will do find by ID and update like this and uh, in here i will pass something like this so first parameter is supposed to be the id that we are passing second parameter is supposed to be the body that we are passing right uh, so i will hit save here okay so it is saved now let's try and figure out what happens now so right now if i hit this particular request i will see that this is the email that is currently being set, right? So I will try and change it, change it to something like um, 101 and hit send. See, I'm still getting, getting the old object here, but let's see if the object was actually changed or not. Oh, object was sent, but did you see the problem? The problem is even though this particular request changes the object, which was supposed to be changed but this api is currently returning the old data not the new data so how do we change this thing right in order to change it there is one more uh, thing that you have to pass which is new true what happens is when you pass this object uh, it will send you the op updated object right within the patch request let's try and see now let's make it like 202 and let's see if we get 202 over here or not so let it restart properly okay so let's hit this and see if it works yes now we are getting the updated data in this request and we can verify from the get request as well that the data is updated properly right let's comment this out now and try and do this with find one and update something like this so just like previously this is how it is supposed to be done you, you can pass you know id email password or whatever you want uh, to you know filter out the thing so this is you know something like a filtration object by which you can you know filter uh, which uh, like object you want to update so previously we could only update by id but you can choose like which parameter you want to update with by id by email or by password this is how and this is where you will do that we already learned this with our find one part this is exactly supposed to be the very first parameter of find one as we learned in our previous video and this is the update user DTO and this is the new parameter that we just learned why it is necessary. So hit save and let's see and figure out if it works like how it is like how it is supposed to be working. So let's move ahead and you know go to the body not this sorry uh, for this request and make it 303. yes it is perfectly changed so you can uh, update a particular document uh, by these two methods whichever you know uh, fits your particular requirement i hope i was able to explain it in simpler terms thank you for watching